Welcome to the Otana Coaches Show. Again, my name is Mark Hargis. The Coaches Show is brought to you by the Otana Wrestling Association and Youth First. We're here live tonight at the Junior High School in Otana talking with some of our junior high wrestlers. We just had our end of the year uh, potluck get together with parents and wrestlers, and we're excited to talk to just a few of the guys tonight. Again, we want to thank our OWA sponsors, not only for sponsoring the Coaches Show, but also Otana Wrestling. So, guys, let's, uh, thanks for spending a little time tonight. I know you're all nerved up here, but it's okay. So no right or wrong answers. But So tell us your name and grade and how many years you've been wrestling so far. Um, my name is Dominic Green. I'm in eighth grade, and this is my first year wrestling. First year out. Awesome. I'm Griffin Thorne, and I've been wrestling five-plus years. Five-plus. And what grade are you in? Eighth. Okay. I'm John McClecker, sixth grade. I've been wrestling for six years. Six years? I'm Nick Staska. I've been wrestling for four years, and I'm in sixth grade. Sixth grade. Awesome. So now we're going to go the other way, Nick. So, okay. So this is great. So we got kind of a wide range here. You guys are all in different grades, but you're also kind of different experience levels, right? So what do you like most about wrestling at this point? Well, I'd say that you can't blame it on anybody else. It's all on you. You, I mean, you, it's all on you. You, if you have, like, a good attitude and you feel that you can do it and stuff, and, um, I, yeah. It really works out pretty good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But you can't blame anybody else, right? Yeah. If you don't do the work. Yep. Yeah. You only got yourself to blame yeah, if you don't do yeah. it. That's awesome. What about you, Jonathan? Um, <laughs> what's it? <laughs> um. We did pretty well this year. Yeah, I yeah. did. Um, so, like, what's your what? What'd you like most about how the year went? Um, I like the coaches and stuff. I like the to meet new friends and stuff and wrestling. It's yeah. pretty fun Good. stuff. Good, awesome, Griffin. I like wrestling because it's lots of fun. Get to meet new friends, new people, and get some girls and <laughs> helps me school. Helps me in school with self-discipline. Yeah. And le life lessons like them. Yeah. Sound like you like I wrote the script for you or something. That's a good, good, <laughs> good one. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and you've done quite a bit of traveling around too, haven't you? You've been to a lot of different places, wrestling in different tournaments. Lots of them. Yeah. And that's been fun hanging out with your buddies and doing. Yeah, that. lots of friends. I like, I like the friends I've made through wrestling just yeah. locally. Good. Good. Dominic. Um, I liked watching myself improve from the beginning of the year to the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So, so we heard a lot of great answers there. So one more question, we'll kind of let you guys off the hook. So, so what was your favorite moment this year of the junior high season? We just finished up, and you guys all did pretty well. You really individually did very well. But we had a lot of fun and some good things as a team, too. So what was your favorite memory this year? Um, probably watching Goy win Elk River for us. Okay. So I came down to the heavyweight match and the duels and mm -hmm. all being there as a team for that? Yeah, it was like a movie. Yeah, <laughs> good, good. Griffin? I like the energy when we're out in team tournament cheering people on in the mat. Yeah, and we had a couple chances to do that with the high school team too, so a few bigger crowds and stuff. That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah, like Albert Lee. Albert Lee, That was yeah. intense. That was. Awesome. Jonathan, what do you think? Um... Fire Lake match, um, Medford did pretty good there, place first. Good. How about the Stockwell when you ended up figuring out you were in the wrong bracket age-wise and you still won it? Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was okay, huh? Nick, what was your favorite memory? Well, I actually kind of have two in one. Um, at the very beginning of the season, I started out with 2-0, and oh, so it was a really good start of the season and about mid-season. I really like how I improved with um, dealing with how to lose mm. and that you learn more about you. You learn more when you lose than when you win. Because oh. if you win, then you're going to keep doing that. But if you lose, then you're going to try something <laughs> different every time well, that's and try to improve on yourself. Yeah. Good. That sounds like something Coach Castile would say. <laughs> like that. Awesome. Well, hey, guys, thanks for hanging out and spending a little time, and, and uh, you know, we appreciate your insight. You guys all did a great job, so good job. We'll be right back.
welcome back to the to Dino Junior High. And uh, again, I'm Mark Argis, and, and we're going to finish this segment out here talking about junior high wrestling still. And I've got two of our other junior high coaches, uh, Richard Rodriguez, right to my left here, and Coach Joe Butler. And uh, we're just going to get to know them a little bit and talk just a little bit more about the junior high season. So thanks, guys, for uh, hanging in there with us tonight. So tell us a little bit about you. You know, like you wrestled here at Otana when you graduated. Um, get a little bit of your wrestling background, that kind of stuff. Okay, started uh, wrestling in seventh grade with the Hovdens. <laughs> um, you mean the same? The same Coach Hovdens. Hovden? Okay. Yep, same one right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I continued to wrestle on through high school. Didn't really start getting into it till later years, and then started getting better at it the longer I stuck with it and stuff. But um, yeah. Pretty much it. And you and you did pretty well in high school, though. I mean, kids today they think they got to start at second grade, but you didn't start till seventh. Grade. Yeah, I I started off all right. I won a couple matches in the junior high. That's about it. And then like a lot of losses, but I've learned from all of them. You know, got to wrestle with a bunch of uh, good teams and like the Clash and mm -hmm. that stuff helps out a lot. Plus we had like Al Mager and he's a state champ and yep. a couple other place winners, so that helped out a lot with forming me into the wrestler that I am today. Yeah. So. And how'd you end up your senior? You came close to qualify for state tournament, didn't you? Yeah, I got beat by a guy. I should have <laughs> should have beat him. Okay. Um, just got upset. You know, I went out there thinking I was gonna just gonna. I was looking way ahead of him. You know, <laughs> we were looking we were looking top three and yeah. looking at wh how we were gonna beat them guys. And a guy that I tech pinned twice during the year threw me to my back and then pinned me right away. I just oh. was out of it. And go, like you know. Well, pretty much well, those my last but you but you had a lot of success at, you know yeah. you got older in high school at yeah. that point and you didn't start until you were later in life, yeah so. Great. for sure coach butler well i started when i was in probably around second grade uh, i came all the way up through the otana program youth program junior high high school mm -hmm. i was on the state championship team my sophomore year in 98 and then uh the runner-up team in 99 and then we were consolation champions my senior year in 2000 i didn't qualify as an individual until I was a senior. I uh, ended up wrestling a guy that was 35-1, and one, ranked number two in the state, my first round of individuals, and ended up winning. And then I kind of ran into some tough competition after that and didn't place, but still it was a good time. Yeah. Well, yeah, so you were a state championship team and a runner-up team. Yeah. And was Coach Mock on that too with you? Yeah, Coach Mock was a senior my sophomore year okay. in 98. So that was pretty cool to, for the kids. I know if, at least it was cool for me to have all that experience, you know, that you guys brought as far as that goes, and then Coach Hovden's too, you know, as far as, uh, uh, you know, having that state championship background locally in Oatana is a great thing for the kids to try to connect to. So so what would be, uh, you know, from this year, what do you think you learned most about getting back into coaching at the junior high? Uh, it's definitely a little bit more work than I kind of expected. <laughs> Um, which is which is good, which is a good thing because you know there's a lot of that means there's a lot of new talent coming out, mm -hmm. you know kids that probably don't realize what they have and you know you get a chance to help them grow and watch them grow up you know as they continue on through their high school career. Right. And this was your first kind of your first coaching gig, wasn't it? Yep. So what'd you learn? Yeah, just like he said, it was a lot tougher, <laughs> frustrating, you know. But, um, yeah, you see a lot of potential in these guys, and a lot of them don't know it, especially the first-year guys, mm -hmm. you know. So as long as they start connecting the, doc the dots and stick with it, I think they'll be pretty good. So I think we talked a little bit about it, and we're kind of wrapping up here, but what would be the one, if you could give one piece of quick advice to these guys that you coached this year, what would it be? Just um, stick with it. Uh, it'll only get better, and um, you won't regret it. Pretty much it. Just keep working hard, and you know you, it might be tough right now, but you'll realize in the end when you when you're on the podium up in St. Paul or Minneapolis, where they have the state tournament nowadays, <laughs> that it was all worth it. Yeah, awesome. Well, great guys. I tell you uh, again, appreciate all your time and effort, the investment you put in the kids this year, and and uh, they just did a great job. So, again, thanks for watching the coaches show. Find it on local cable here in Otana channels eight, channel twenty on Blip TV on the internet and OtanaWrestling.com. See you next time.